I can with confidence say that in Finland we burn over two million tons of lignin each year, probably much more. But if you were the one that were responsible for this lignin, would you want to burn it? Or would you want to do something else? And if any one of us here in this room would want to be more sustainable and move into wood buildings, would we want these buildings to be coated and glued with plastics? Of course you don't want plastics in your walls, and of course you don't want to burn millions of tons of lignin. If we are already now struggling to find renewable options for everyday products, we can't be burning one of the largest resources that we have available. I think that lignin in our societies will be a huge asset if we learn how to use it first. Um, my research focuses on making products with a super high lignin content as much as I can. And I began by focusing on construction materials because, for example, concrete is responsible for about almost 10% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. And one really fruitful approach has been to first make epoxidized lignin. So it's basically grafting epoxy groups onto the lignin backbone and then reacting this with lignin particles. This material becomes very strong and it can be used, for example, for these beautiful coatings or these strong adhesives. And they have a lignin content of over 90%. And they are just as good as anything you would find in your hardware store, and they are also just as cheap. Because when I developed these products, I worked together with process engineers and sustainability specialists to make sure that they would be just as cheap and more sustainable compared to anything that we have available in the market today. And you also, now the forestry industry needs to listen, you don't have to make any changes to the craft process. So you only have to build a couple of new facilities outside of existing pulp mills, basically turning them into modern lignin biorefineries. Now my vision for this is to broaden the applicability as much as I can. So now it's building materials. Next it could be composites, for example, for glass frames, phone, car doors. Maybe some of you <laughs> uses these products. And uh, for example, packaging. And if I succeed, our forests will give us a huge amount of an actually useful material that we can use to create a set of sustainable products that will help us make good decisions in our everyday life. Thank you.